Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have an awesome video for you. It is an unbagging of a bunch of plush I got at the Goodwill bins. And you're asking, where's the footage from the actual event? Well, I deleted it along with about 30 other videos. So um, completely my fault, take full responsibility. Am I bummed? Yeah, I'm really bummed, but we're gonna make the best of it here. So some of uh, the footage that was deleted, I wanna show you a couple things that sold because I don't, a lot of this stuff is still in bags. So I'm going to do like unbaggings and share it with you guys and keep it educational, pop up the screen shares like I always do. But this sale is awesome. I dug these out of the bins. If you don't know what these are, they are blank tapes and they are definitely a bolo, especially when you can get a bunch and lock them up. So I had eight of these and nobody was even grabbing at these. Nobody was looking at them. And I was just like, oh, give me them all, give me them all. I was so excited. I ended up selling these for $65 plus shipping. I'll pop up a screen share right here. Another item I sold is another thing that most of you are like, why are you wasting your time? Now, the Duplo Legos, I don't typically pick up if they're just the standard Legos, but these are the vehicles and the diggers and it's incomplete. It's just what I could find. And this sold pretty quickly. And I'm gonna pop up a screen share right here of what it sold for. But I was just digging all of these out of the bins and I made a miscellaneous pile. Now this one is just a standard um, plate, but it was with all of these. So I'm thinking it's maybe part of the truck bed or something like that. So I did include that and um, like this white piece right here. But typically I'll pass those by unless they're kind of all in the same bin and I think they go together. Now, this has nothing to do with the bins, but I just wanted to show you, since this is gonna be a plush video, even when things are in horrible condition, there is somebody looking for that item, okay? So your plush doesn't have to be perfect. Are you gonna get top dollar? No, probably not. This one is called Bucky, and it was just really vintage looking. It's by Russ Berry and Company. I don't see a date, but wait until you see this. Look at the pacifier. It's chewed off. It's a mess. And this bunny, you know, it has been well loved. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell this. And I did. Here's a screenshot. Was it huge money? No, but you know what? I probably made somebody very, very happy. All right. This was another Ben's find. I think the video of this has already been published, but, um, you can see right here, it has some damage on the screen. These old remotes um, that go to things, people lose them and they look for replacements. Some of them can go for hundreds of dollars. This one, I had no idea. I threw it in my cart because it weighs nothing. It's $1.79 at my bins. So I was just willing to take a chance on this. Somebody offered me, I think it was nine or 10 bucks on it. And I accidentally hit decline instead of accept. And the next day somebody came in at full asking price. Not much more, but hey, every dollar counts, right? All right, now we are gonna dig into my Goodwill Ben's Hall of Plush. I'll tell you more about that in the video. Super excited about it. Wait until you see the plush I pulled out of the bins. I couldn't believe it. There's one brand I love finding and I found like, I don't know, three? It was awesome. So stay tuned for that. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, so this was from the Goodwill bins and I had footage of all of this, but I accidentally deleted all my bins footage. So we are gonna do an unbagging. This is the first time I have found plush, like two whole bins just full of plush. I was so excited. Um, and I could not wait to show you guys the video because it was like plush city. But as it turns out, I'm gonna be doing an unbagging, which is okay. So that day, the plush was 99 cents each. They did allow me to put some of the smaller plush in um, by weight because they were smaller. So we'll start with some of those and then we're gonna move into these big bags of plush. So I apologize, I deleted that footage. I was, we won't even talk about it. I was so upset. But anyway, we've got this little lovey. Always, always, always pick these up when I see them. 
Um, most of them are bread and butter, but some of them can do really, really well. This one is by Cloud Island. I am gonna be listing these, popping up screen shares to keep this educational for you guys, just like I do in my Ben's videos. I will be getting more Ben's videos, but right now I'm working on all of the ones that I deleted. So this little guy needs a little love, but he is a jelly cat. Um, again, it's a lovey and I don't know, oh, somebody's dryer sheet. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hair off him, probably run him through the washing machine. I think, or her, I don't know what it is. It's a jelly cat though, a little bunny. And he, she has seen better days here. Um, there's a little eyeball. So, but Jelly Cat is another great brand. This guy right here is missing his clothes, but I just couldn't leave him behind. He looks vintage. Um, let's see, Applause Disney. I'm not certain, is it Inspector Gadget? Or, I don't think it's Inspector Gadget. I don't know who it is. So I'm gonna do Google Lens. Let's get his head on straight there and check him out. So his body's plush, never seen him before. This little guy is made by, and I think I left some of these behind, the learning experience. And I wish now I would have grabbed them all so I could lot them up, but um, may have left a little behind. Sock monkey, sock monkeys are typically bread and butter, but this little guy, I just wasn't leaving him behind. He um, is an ornament. So gonna have to do a lot of research as I've not seen a lot of these. This is a finger puppet. How cute is that? Um, I always pick up finger puppets. Puppets in general, I love to pick up. Curious George here. And again, these are just how they came out of the bins. So I need to clean them up before I list them. Some will go through the washing machine. Some will just get um, wiped down a little. All right, a bunny. I've got, this one is by Cuddlewit. Made in China. Um, huh, he feels, that's weird. He feels, uh, I don't know, like it's got a, like a balloon, not a balloon, but something doesn't feel like plush in there. Let's say that. So I'll have to look that up and see if there's something special about it. Check out this guy. Look at his feet. I don't know what he is, but he's a Dalmatian. Um, I got a spot clean him there and it says Peppy Pets. All right, here is another bunny. This one is Tommy Hilfiger. How cute is that? Again, probably gonna need to go for a little bath, but it's got some beads in the feet. Super, super cute. Um, never seen one of those, so. It will be interesting to see how these comp out. This is Five Nights at Freddy. There's the tag. It looks like it's 2017. Here is another Jelly Cat, which I love Jelly Cat. This one is a, I believe it's a, well, I was gonna say it's is it a horse? I think it's a horse. A horse, of course. I grabbed this one. It says um, Purdue University President's Council. And it still has the original um, tag here. And it says, uh, let's see what the tag says. Velvet. And then it's ASI 60, I don't know what that means. By Greek. So he's pretty cool. He might be a harder to find item. And looky what I found. I found an owl. And this one is by Soft Classics. And I will be listing that in my store. And whenever I list an owl, I put um, Olo in the title. So if you guys are looking for owl specific items, you can search my store for Olo, O-L-O. This little guy, I just, he's so cute. He is by Kelly Toy. It's a rattle, so more of a baby toy, uh, dinosaur there. Probably bread and butter, but one thing about plush is there's always, especially older discontinued plush, there's always, oh my goodness, I can't talk. There is always someone looking for um, something, you know, that they lose or gets dirty, a replacement for their child, so. This one looks like it does something, so we'll have to get some batteries in it. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, I, I don't know. I gotta figure out where the, ooh, where do the batteries go in? Is this one of those where you can't replace the batteries? So we may be out of luck on that one. I do not see where the batteries can be replaced. I never understood that, like the ones that you can't replace the batteries. 
This is so soft. It's a moose. I think it's a moose and it's another jelly cat. So I really did great with the jelly cats. Oh, my bag is falling here. This is another uh, press and we're gonna have to put batteries in this one. This one does have a spot for batteries, so that is good. We'll get him fired up. I'll put um, how he works over on my reseller testing Bolo products. And this one is by TL Toys, HKLTD. Where's the button? Here it is. Okay, yeah, it needs batteries. So hopefully it's gonna work when I put batteries in it, but I don't know what, he, maybe his mouth moves even. He's kind of cool. Oh, what do I have here? What is this? Uh, is it supposed to be like that? What is that? Huh, we'll have to look at that. Soft Classics. Um, that was the same brand as the Owl, and it also still has its, oh, it's a, it's a shoe it's chewing up. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, super, super cute. Puppy dog chewing on a shoe there. We've got this bunny here with the glasses and the the watch, the pocket watch. And this one is 1991 Target Stores. But it's dated, definitely vintage. Someone may be looking for this cute little bunny with a pocket watch. So funny because when I walked in, it was a new day. So I was the like one of the first people there. So I'm guessing these were all out the night before and nobody grabbed them. I don't know, maybe at our bins, nobody's really into plush, but I was just thrilled. I mean, look at these beautiful plush. Look at this guy. Oh, I love it. Um, is it an orangutan or a monkey? Plush Creations. Um, wow, it says 1988 on that. I never would have guessed that he was that old and vintage, but he is fun and I mean, his fur looks good. I'm excited about that one. This little gal right here needs, move. let's see, $6.99. I'm guessing this is vintage. Soft Expressions, and this is by Dandy. So another great plush that um, will probably do pretty good. I'll have to fluff it up, figure out how, it, how it's gonna look. Okay, here's the next bag. Always pick up bunnies, especially with things on the feet, the patches. This one doesn't seem high-end or anything it says best made toys 2017 but it's a bunny so why not 99 cents a piece and when I was digging for them I thought they were by pound and 99 cents a piece ended up being cheaper this one is Ice King Bear not a brand I'm familiar with hopefully it's a bolo it's a cute little frog I mean somebody is going to be looking for a frog right great condition his, uh, I feel beans in his legs. All right. This one is Go Dog Touch for Fun. So, um, oh, what do you call that? It's got a little boo-boo right here. Sensory, sensory. Yeah, he's got some issues that I didn't catch when I, when I uh, picked him up. But you know what, if somebody needs this as a replacement they might not care so I'm still gonna list it with the damage here's another one of those rattles this one is Kelly toy also I had the dinosaur from earlier I think this one does something this yeah um, this is by Gund fun storytime bear 2006 don't know if he works yet so we got to look it up i the book i think is supposed to be attached to the arm but it's got this cute little mouse it does have that um so we'll fire him up with some batteries and put him on my other channel he's got some something stuck to his fur so i'll have to clean that off this one is melissa and doug and the reason i grabbed this this will probably be maybe five to seven dollars unless it's just something that is hard to find so Melissa and Doug typically is not high dollar. So, um, but we'll see, I'm not a plush expert. This one animated, I figured if nothing else, I can put it on my reseller testing Bolo products and get a video out of it and teach somebody else how it works. So hopefully that guy works. I always pick up animated stuff, I love it. Uh, this is Baby Shark. Um, Pink Fong, I have heard that Pink Fong 
on eBay. They sometimes watch it. It looks like he lights up there. Okay. So, um, I don't know, but my friend had a pink fong removed. I don't know if it was because they thought it was counterfeit or if you're not allowed to put pink fong over there, but it was a baby shark toy. So I did grab this. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. I'm not going to put it on eBay. I know that. Not worth it, knowing that somebody I know got one removed. The Heritage Collection by Gans. It had the tag. It's, I don't know, is this a moose? Um... 1998. So again, another vintage, uh, I don't know if it's a longhorn cow or, but anyway, let's see what else we are getting down to the end here. This is a folk Monus puppet and you guys, it's vintage. How cool is that? You can tell by the tag. I don't know if it has an actual date or not, but it's made in Korea and it is a turtle. I've never seen this guy. I can't get him on my hand right now, but he's a puppet, a turtle puppet. I love it. Absolutely love that one. And we have Diego from Dora and Diego. And just noticing here, this has kind of got some issues, but it's by TY Beanie Buddies. That one kind might be a want want. We'll have to see. This guy I grabbed, he is a Precious Moments Tender Tales with the original tag. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a bread and butter, but you'll see the screenshot after I list it, of how I listed it. And I, again, I always pick up puppets, no matter if they are, you know, not a big deal or not. I just, I like them. And this one's by Dakin. Definitely vintage from 1983. So somebody could be looking for this horse. Maybe their parents used to do puppet shows when they were a kid and they want to reenact that. Who knows? But this is my plush haul. This bag is full. There's a bag back there. We got all these sitting here. Oh my goodness. It was so fun digging through the plush. Um, I'm so sorry I lost the footage. I feel awful, but at least you get to see what I got and we're still going to learn from this. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one.